So you guys, I am so excited for this video. I know I said it for all my videos, but honestly, I am so excited to go ahead and compare these two powders. And shout out to my subscriber for giving me this idea because I don't know why I didn't ever think about it, but it's such a good idea. So thank you so much for that. Um, but I do have the Fenty Beauty Powder and the Huda Beauty Powder. And these two are so similar in so many ways. And she actually told me like, which one do you prefer more and whatnot. So I want to go ahead and film this video and basically give you guys like the 401 when it comes to this powders. I don't know why I said 401 like I'm in the details but y'all know what I mean when it comes to these powders so I don't want to say too much let's just go ahead and just jump right into the video so before I start I do want to mention if I am looking down I'm reading my notes right here when it comes to these powders because I did write the pros and cons about each of these powders and the first one I do want to talk about is the Huda Beauty powder this is $34 and it has 20 grams in here whereas the Fenty Beauty powder is $32 and it has 28 grams in here so you're definitely getting a whole lot more in the Fenty Beauty powder more so than the Huda Beauty powder um, the Fenty one is a little bit bulky, so it's kind of tricky to know how much is really in here. But with the Fenty, you do get 28 grams of powder in here, whereas the Huda Beauty powder has 20 grams. So when it comes to the amount of shades in here, they do have eight shades in total for each brand. And that is so cool because when it comes to brands, y'all, like, if y'all remember back in the day, we either had two options where it was translucent or it was a white powder. You had two options and that was it. So to have eight powders to pick from, that is really cool. And they have light powders, dark powders, banana powders, all that good stuff in there. So that is really cool. And I just want to go ahead and point that out because a lot of brands don't have that nowadays. So comparing these two powders, I do want to mention the Fenty Beauty powder is not a very banana um, yellow powder. It's more of a beigey color. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like. So it looks yellow when you first look at it, but in real life, you guys, it has a very beige color to it, which is not a bad thing for me. It doesn't give me much of a highlight. Kind of looks like my skin tone a little bit. So I just want to go ahead and point that out. Now with the Huda Beauty powder, this is more of a true yellow powder, okay? It gives me that highlight that I'm looking for, and this is what it looks like. Now when I first saw this, I was a little bit scared because I thought it was gonna look ashy on my skin, but it gives me like the perfect highlight underneath my eyes. And I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison Hopefully I don't spill any out, but this is what they look like next to each other. And y'all can definitely tell these colors are a little bit different, but they still work for my skin tone. Now, one thing I do want to mention when it comes to these powders, they both have scents in there and they're very different scents. When I first tried the Fenty one, honestly, I didn't smell the scent till somebody mentioned it. And then from then on, when I started to apply it on my skin, I was like, you know what? It does have a slight scent in there and it's kind of hard to, oh, I think I just swallowed that. Wow. <coughs> wow <laughs> so i was kind of choking there for a second but let's just go back into this um but it does have like a slight scent to it it's not too heavy at all so it's not really noticeable whereas the huda beauty powder y'all i'm telling you when i first tried this powder it was very very strong it has like a all right i don't want to swallow it this time it has like a very floral scent to it and also if i'm quite honest with you guys the more i use it i don't smell it when i apply it on my skin just because i'm used to it at this point um but i do want to mention one thing overnight i kind of leave my powders open that way the scent kind of goes away so they're not really as strong anymore so if you want to try that out definitely do that just leave your powders open overnight and the scent will kind of go away um but if you are sensitive to scents i just want to mention that because it's very powerful both of these um the fenty one's a little bit less whereas the huda beauty is a little bit more like strong all right, so looking at my notes, I do want to mention one thing on here, and it comes to the texture of these powders. The Fenty powder is very finely milled, but at the same time, it's a little bit heavy on the skin. Once you apply it on your skin, you definitely do feel it. I will say that. And this is what it looks like once I apply it like so. It's just like a very finely milled powder, but at the same time, it's very heavy. So it's kind of hard to describe, but definitely when you go ahead and try it on your face, you will feel that. And the Huda Beauty one's also very finely milled. But once you apply it on your skin, it's very soft and y'all can tell like it kind of just disappeared into my skin. Like you really don't see it at all. So let me go in a second time and show you guys again. But it kind of just blends into your skin like you don't really see it at all. So with that being said, I will say that the Huda Beauty powder is a little bit more finely milled than the Fenty Beauty powder because the Fenty one, honestly, y'all, like you just need a little bit. I'm telling y'all right now, I made the mistake of trying it the first time and applying a lot of powder. I was like, whoa, this is too much. A little bit goes a long way. Just take my word for it because 
once you put it on it is not coming off all right so those are all the notes that i have for now and i do have two more things i do want to mention but i will mention that later on in the video so for now i do want to go ahead and apply my concealer and start the baking process i was going to use the fenty concealer but i don't want people to be like Gigi, like you're cheating so i'm using the cover effects um power play concealer in the shade nd2 to be fair and it's really funny because i was going to go ahead and use the fenty beauty concealer but i know people are going to come for me so i was just like let me be fair and use the cover effects concealer and not cause any problems so my skin is looking really really good so far and for the powders i think i'm gonna go ahead and use a huda beauty powder on this side and fenty on this side and i first go ahead and press the powder into my skin first because if i don't do that my skin looks very cakey and whatnot i don't know what it is but i first have to press the powder and then bake on top so let me press the huda one into my skin And right off the back, y'all can tell the powder just like blends right into my skin. Like it looks really good already. I honestly don't need to bake on top, but y'all know I'm very oily. So I always have to bake instead. But so far, it looks really, really good. And moving on to my Fenty powder, I'm going to first press it into my skin. And with this powder, I told you guys, a little bit goes a long way. And once you put it on your skin, it literally sucks the life out of any oil you may have on your skin. Like all the oils you have, y'all, like it'll be gone in a second. So y'all can tell like with this powder, I am kind of working it into my skin a little bit more than the Huda one. The Huda one kind of just blend it right into my skin. This one, you kind of have to work with it a little bit. So for my boys and girls who just press powders into their skin, this is what it'll look like. And it doesn't give me a dramatic highlight. It's very subtle, but at the same time, kind of like it. So now I'm going to take this powder and just bake right on top. All right, so these are what the two look like side by side, and y'all can definitely tell the difference once they're next to each other. Like the Huda one's a little bit more lighter and a little bit more yellow, whereas the Fenty one is more of a beigey yellow color. So either way, I still love the colors on me, and I'm gonna go ahead and bake for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'll be back, show you guys what it looks like once I brush it off, and there's a major difference between the two, but I'll mention that a little bit later. All right, so it's been about like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna brush the powder off my face, and once I'm done, I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer to see what it looks like up close because y'all can't really tell from far away so let me go ahead and use my elf blush brush and brush this powder all off so now that i removed all the powder off my skin you guys i kind of have like a better idea of each of these powders so the fenty one has a little bit more coverage i definitely don't see any skin peeking through like it definitely covers every single thing but at the same time it looks a little bit heavy underneath the eyes whereas the huda one is a little bit more lightweight and it just does what it's supposed to do and it looks a lot more smoother underneath my eyes so depending on what you like in your powder i say go for a fenty like more full coverage but if you love a very lightweight powder i say go for huda um but what I'm going to do now is finish up the rest of my face. I'll be back to do a wear test because I want to see which one controls my oils a little bit more. I already do know, but I want to show you guys what it looks like on camera. It's currently 122 right now, so I'm not going to do an 8-hour test. You guys have seen that on my channel already. I'm going to do a 6-hour test instead and show you guys what the powder looks like once it sets into my skin. And I'm about to go to bed, honestly, because... I went out last night and had a little bit too much fun. So I am low-key tired. Um, but yeah, I should see y'all in a couple hours, four hours, six hours. I don't know yet. All right, so it's currently 547 right now, and this is what my face looks like. Hopefully, y'all can see on camera what I see in person. Um, but my face doesn't look bad at all. It's only been like five hours. But I do want to point out the Fenty Beauty side is a little bit more oily than the Huda Beauty side. Honestly, the Huda Beauty side has a little bit of glow to it, but it's not oily at all. Fenty right here, if you look at my cheek area and on my forehead, the oil is coming through. So I did want to go ahead and mention that. And that was one of the things I had in my notes because the Fenty Beauty powder, because it's so matte, I feel like my skin is overproducing oils. So even though it's a matte powder, I still get oily throughout the day and I get a little bit greasy towards the eight hour mark. The Huda Beauty powder actually holds up in my T-zone. So I prefer the Huda Beauty in my T-zone. But when it comes to Fenty Beauty powder, I use it as like an all over face powder. This is bomb. 
I saw all over face powder because everywhere else I'm not oily at all just my t-zone and it looks so good on the skin it gives me a little bit of filter it sets everything it looks nice so I recommend this for an all over face powder and a Huda Beauty as your t-zone powder so I do hope this video helped you guys a little bit because I know it's kind of confusing with all these powders coming out and all these powders in the market it's so confusing but once you try out something and it works for you just stick with it and that's it y'all like you don't need to buy 20 different powders like I do I love reviewing stuff so I buy everything but honestly find something and stick with it and that's it okay so I love you guys so much don't forget to like subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys in my next one